You ready? Yeah. What's going on everyone? It's Kelly and this video I've been wanting to do for actually a very long time. A catch and cook bonita. Now here in Florida, we do not eat bonita. We eat blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna, but we don't touch bonita. We use it for bait only, but I want to try it. Right now we have Chris and his wife Kayla on board. And they're the alligator wranglers. If you guys saw my, oh, what's the title of the video? I think it's neighborhood alligator. We caught an alligator in a neighborhood. Anyways, we're gonna get our bait here. And let's see, this one. Oh, dang it. You gotta have molt fingers. If you guys ever seen the movie Hoot, the kid whose his nickname was Mullet Fingers because he would grab mullet right out of the water. Come on, little guy. What is this, a 4-0 circle hook? Yeah. We got our bait and just toss it right in the water. And hopefully it shouldn't take very long. The Bonita were all over us a few minutes ago. Jake just caught one. He did really good reeling it in too. Oh, here they come. I'm just leaving the bale open. That way once they take the bait, I'll let it go for about four or five seconds, let them eat it, and start reeling. Once we pull out the camera, the Bonita want to go somewhere else. They were all around our boat like five minutes ago. We'll get one, we'll get one. A few moments later. Here we go. There we go. Ooh. Hold on now, that trolling motor, you're gonna have to go under that trolling motor. Get Pick it, it up, Chris. Yep, I got it. Okay, but I'm, I can get him, I can, he's swimming back. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Benita in Florida might be a trash fish. But if you don't go fishing much, they are fun to fight. I used to catch these, whew, when I used to work on the shark boat, we'd go offshore fishing and only target these, man. Your arms would get tired fast. Oh, there he is on the surface. Come on. He ain't making it easy. Gosh, I haven't caught one of these in a minute. He's whooping you, Kelly. <laughs> Jake, how'd you catch this thing? It whooped him too. <laughs> Jake. I got mine in a little faster. You got yours in a little faster, he said. Yeah. Probably because mine's a bit smaller. Really. What's up, bud? All right, oh, here we go. Oh, he, he, he made a U-turn on Chris with underwater footage. I did not like that. <laughs> Grab them. Oh, you got the gaff? Ah, it's all right. I haven't ever gaffed it. It's okay. Let them come up to the surface. Right? They're fast. No. Jake, right. go behind the line. Hold on, hold on. Better just get his head out of the water. Once he. There you go. There we go. Good job. Thanks, Jake. My first fish I've ever catch. That's <laughs> a big one. Fish. Hey. Good job. That's that one's bigger than mine. That's why I fought harder, probably. <laughs> you did great reeling in your bonita. Let me tell you, there's not a lot of 10, 11 year old kids that can reel in a bonita. They are some tough fish. Now, since we're eating this bonita, I'm gonna bleed them out very well. So the one thing with bonita is they're insanely bloody fish. One time I tried one raw in the shark boat. We caught a fresh one. Didn't even bleed it out and I took a bite of it. Woo. It was like taking a bite of rare meat, but even more irony. 
So right now we're gonna pop his gills. And he's gonna sit there in the water, swim, <clears throat> and bleed out real nice. Hey babe, watch out, watch out. Brat. You will get you will get Chris <laughs> jumped. Chris jumped as hard as Kelly did. You know what? I didn't even think about that. We got big Goliath groupers under the boat. We got bull sharks. We got nurse sharks. I've already lost one finger. I wasn't trying to lose another one. <laughs> we Chris. got alligator bite and shark bite. Alligator bite and shark bite. I like it. All right, you guys, so we're going to bleed out this fish, like I said, and then we're going to go snapper fishing. And when we get back to the house, we're going to do a little bit of bonita poke bowls. All right, so we are back at the house right now. All I did was I wanted to catch this bonita. That way I could try it. Now, here in Florida, like I said, we use this for bait. We use it for sharks, chunk bait, chum. We don't eat it. <laughs> Other parts of the world, they eat bonito which is kind of similar, but it's slightly different. So I went ahead and bled this fish out very well. We're gonna go ahead and fillet it. They're usually pretty easy fish to fillet. They don't have a lot of scales. Kind of like a tuna. I do have a backup fish just in case the bonita doesn't taste good. I'll show you all that one in a minute. Looks like blackfin tuna. Still looks really bloody, even though I bled it out so much. That's real bloody. But I got a backup fish just in case this doesn't taste good. Check it out. The world's biggest Spanish mackerel. Now, Gabe thinks it's a cedro mackerel. I think it's a Spanish because it has the dominant yellow polka dots on it. Check out its stomach when I gut shotted it. Shotted it. <laughs> Look at it. He ate some of our chum that we were chunking. These fish are delicious raw. So, we'll definitely eat him. And we're gonna try this guy. Look, this one has roe. See the roe in there? That's eggs of the fish. Maybe we should fry that up too. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish filleting this fish. Gabe's gotta go ahead and fillet all the other fish. He's making a snapper video. And then I gotta go in the kitchen and prepare what I'm gonna put in the poke bowl. So, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Okay, so before we go to the kitchen, Check out these parasites. I was gonna eat the roe, but I think I changed my mind. You see them? They're like little curly, like noodly looking worms. Tastes like chicken. It's like. Okay, so here is our strip of bonita. It's a lot richer of a red color than yellow fin tuna or black fin tuna. Now I still have a little bit of the bloodline on the edges right here. That bloodline bonita was insane. I mean, that's probably the thickest bloodline I've ever seen. I'm just gonna cut that right off. Boom. All right, and right here, I'm just gonna, gonna do this. I don't need too much to try it. And I'm just gonna chunk it up in little cubes. Like so. It's got a good look to it though. The striations are nice. That was a big word. Striations? <laughs> so while I'm cutting up this bonita right here, I'm gonna show you guys this fish that I shot. Jumped right in the water. There was a bunch of bait fish. I saw a few kingfish. The kingfish got away from me. Gabe told me to swim up current toward this little piece of structure that there was a massive goliath grouper in. Sure enough, I thought there were kingfish in the water, but then once I speared it and looked at it, it was a Spanish mackerel. So check this out.
Okay, get your shaft off and give me the shaft. everywhere there's bait fish everywhere and there's a school of like five to six kingfish swimming around i took a couple of dives and they were too far away from me sure enough i'm swimming against the current three kingfish swim right next to me actually no this is a it's a mackerel this spanish, is a spanish mackerel big spanish this mackerel. is a massive spanish mackerel massive spanish mackerel like i thought it was a, a small kingfish this is a massive Spanish mackerel, sorry guys. And that so happens to be the exact same spot where I caught this bonita. Check out our little cubes here. They're actually very appetizing looking. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and marinate them a little bit while I prepare the bowl and a little bit of soy sauce. Set that aside. And here I just have a bowl of white rice, Uncle Ben's, super simple. We got some cucumber. Some scallions, which are my favorite. And some mango. Adding a little touch of sweetness. I love mango. You want some? <laughs> I already gave you some, and Redneck doesn't like fish. Such a weirdo. All right, then I'm gonna top it with my bonita. Now, if this tastes like crap, I do have the mackerel here that I cleaned cut into sashimi pieces with a little bit of soy and wasabi over here. But what about your new subscribers wondering why you just called the dog a redneck? That is his name. He is Blue Gabe, who's my boyfriend, and also has a YouTube channel called Blue Gabe. This is his little dog, Redneck. Jake is now turning 11 year old this month, named him when he was five, and the name just stuck. Look, he's a little redneck. So I'm going to compare this dish to, if I was to go to a restaurant and order a bowl, which is tuna, probably yellowfin or blackfin, wherever you go. That looks pretty. Oh, I forgot, I forgot an ingredient. Our sesame seeds. Sprinkle a little bit of that. Just for looks, because why not? All right, here it goes. We get a little mango, a little bit of everything in there. If I was to order this, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell it was Bonita. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, I'm gonna try a piece just plain. A little soy sauce, that's it. It literally tastes like a piece of tuna. I'm not even kidding. Why are you laughing at me? This is insane. This fish is our trash fish here in Florida. I'm talking like nobody eats these. But if you bleed it out right and well, cut all the bloodline out, chop it up with some soy sauce, you wouldn't even tell it wasn't. Now, I'm not saying it's better than yellowfin or blackfin, but you, it definitely doesn't have a fishy taste. It's not really irony. Or it tastes like tuna. Now, that could be because I cut it up in really tiny chunks, which also can alter the flavor because you're not biting into like a big chunk of fish. But hey, tastes like tuna to me. I'm really surprised. So I'm gonna let you guys know something. When I used to work on the shark boat, which is a shark diving boat here in Jupiter, me and my captain would go off and catch a bunch of bonita because that's what we would use to chum up the sharks. Now, my captain's from Hawaii and he eats literally everything. And he's like, oh, Bonita's so good, you should try it because they eat it over in Hawaii, from what I know. So I'm like, uh, no. Nah. We didn't even like bleed it out. We just caught this thing, cut it open, and I just ate a piece just like that. 
and it was the most irony piece of fish I have ever eaten. So if you're gonna eat bonita, just bleed it out correctly. This is the Spanish mackerel that I speared. Mm. And that's the best sashimi you'll ever get right there. Mm, that's good. All right, you guys, we're gonna finish eating some fish. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Check out my boyfriend Blue Gabe's channel as well. And right now, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks, see ya.